Oh, I need to run. Oh. What is happening, my friends? It's Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia. And you know, the great thing about my vlogs, I suppose, is that I don't have any script. I have no idea where I will be going to today. But there is a negative side of this as well. I have no idea where to go. Yeah, so every time it's like... All right, I want to go right, I go right. I want to go left, I go left. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoy this random views of Moscow. But anyway, if you have any specific ideas, any places that you would like me to make videos about, just tell me. As for now, I'm just walking in not far from the city center. There are some kind of church. Don't even ask me how this one is called, because we literally have hundreds of those in Moscow. But yeah, I suppose that just as always, I will show you some Moscow, some city center, some subway. By the way, these streets that I'm right now walking at, this is not the place where I usually spend my time. I can't even say that I have been exactly here in my life. So I'm kind of opening these places for myself as well. I have no idea what kind of buildings I'm passing right now, but I suppose these are like some Soviet times. Just take a look at this. It's not just a simple flag. It has some kind of symbolics from the USSR. And so this building, it seems to be a bit abandoned, I suppose, just because of the way this fence looks, but who knows? Who knows? The great thing about the Moscow city center, as I always say, is its size. Because I've been to some European... Pl oh, man. Take a look at this. The planes. Do you see them? Just a sec, guys. I hope there will be more. So today we have some kind of a rehearsal of the parade. Yeah, there they are. There they are. Oh! That looks great, you guys. And some more. Wow, I'm so lucky actually now to be witnessing this. So lucky because usually I live in the outskirts and so when this rehearsal of the parades take place oh look at this look at this man these are great i'm really sorry if i didn't manage to catch the picture properly but oh yeah man they look so great one to another so there are some more wow I'm, I'm really happy so this is definitely not something that is definitely not something that you can see every day and the thing is that here we have some kind of a restricted regime yes we don't have aircrafts allowed just to be flying oh once i don't know what i should be filming now actually yeah just a sec guys just a sec. i need to run so that there was a better view just a sec guys just a sec yeah yep so great I'm really so lucky I'm very excited people I am very excited now yo 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 there are so many of this so many of this that is so cool getting back to the churches one more big church and I have no idea how this one is called as well look at this they are not stopping they are not stopping, they are flying and flying and flying. And that's great. And everybody is staring. Everybody is staring. I don't think that people were expecting to see this. I suppose that everybody is surprised now by the views that they see. Oh, look, the flag, the Russian flag.
I'm so overwhelmed to be able to witness something like this. Now, this is definitely not something that I was expecting to see today. That is so great, guys. Getting back to our vlog. Yeah, I still don't know where I will go, but just take a look at this. Yeah, so <laughs> it actually looks a bit strange because of these columns. These columns is not something that I would expect to see in the church, but it's uh, the church of the Saint Martin, some kind of, some Saint Martin guy. That's the church in his name. I guess I wanted to say this thing, but I got distracted because the planes appeared. The thing is that the great thing about Moscow city center is that it is really big and you can have just such a, such a big variety of buildings I mean in front of you so the, here can be the ones that were built like in the times when the kings and tsars yeah, ruled Russian Empire there are a lot of buildings that were built in the USSR times and as well there are a lot of modern buildings and in the city center so you might see a lot of this yeah some kind of two-storied buildings with some kind of I don't know how to call this prints yes with some architecture yeah let's say let's say so and the thing is that unlike the cities I mean the capitals in the European countries there are, for example there can be a city center I've been to Warsaw and I've been to Riga yeah the capital of Latvia so the thing is that the old places they look really great there but you can literally cross this district like in five to ten minutes here in Moscow you can be walking in the city center for hours the city center is indeed such a variety of everything so you can see here what can you see here first of all here is the entrance to the subway secondly there is a church maybe two of them then there's a high building one of the seven so-called Stalin buildings and as well there's KFC right there and there is a crane here and just a lot of different things yeah so the city center in Moscow is indeed diverse just take a look at these balconies and once again at the building itself I'm really not sure whether these were built in the Soviet times I really think that these are more than 100 years old but I gotta Google the problem is that as I said there are just loads of such buildings we will come closer to this one run yeah so once again talking about the views so it can be so different here that is one of the tallest buildings that I was showing to you and as well some architecture once again and I don't know whether I would be able to go straight because it seems like there are some police guys there and everything is blocked by those trucks because once again we had a rehearsal of the parade today so I don't know so here is that building and it seems like everything is blocked here I don't know who are these people there are just so many people standing right there and I never seen like this there's a guy with a machine gun that is something that I really see for the first time in Moscow I really don't have any idea whether it is permitted here and now to be filming but there are so many guys from military just behind me and there are a lot of guys here in the uniform there are just hundreds of them I could have missed something and probably today is one of the kind of na national military holidays but like I never saw that many people with the machine guns in my life I don't know how it is done in your places but in our country usually if the road has to be blocked these machines that usually are used for kind of cleaving cleaning the roads yeah such machines are used cars yeah these cars are used but what is great about these days is actually that you have the whole road in the city center of yours like everybody is pedestrians here I mean this road turns into something for pedestrians I don't know for how long I have been walking here with you guys I suppose it's about one hour maybe a bit less but still that is exactly what I'm talking about the Moscow center is so big I haven't even like 
past one-tenth, like 10%. And I'm talking just about the distance, yes, from point A to point B. And it is kind of circle one. So yeah, you can spend hours, you can spend days walking here. And like, you never know, you never expect. Like, I would just pass here and go there. But here you can see there is another building and it looks so mysterious. And each, and each building, I'm more than sure it has its own history, it has its own story. So I suppose there are a lot of things that are kept inside these walls. You know, I usually don't travel in these streets, like, I don't happen to be here. But when I see some things like this, it really reminds me of kind of New York City. Because from the movies I remember that there can be like churches, yeah, and they're surrounded with modern buildings. But we don't have that kind of concrete jungle here. Russia is a big country, Moscow is a big city, and actually we have a lot of space to be used for buildings, for just open squares, yeah. So it seems like the city center is quite paralyzed today because I went from here, yes, and I cannot pass there, and I cannot pass there. Kremlin is there, actually. So, yeah, the only way I can go is there. Take a look at this building up here. I have no idea what this is. Take a look at all of these buildings. That is what I'm saying. Such a diversity. Or just this one on the left. I have no idea what is its story. I don't know what is the name and the purpose of the building, but just take a look at it. Everything would be even more diverse if somebody managed to reply to the messages that I'm leaving. Well, she does actually sometimes, but not always. <laughs> Keeping walking, walking and showing you some Moscow. Just once again, people, we have a lot of architecture. In some countries, this would be just some kind of the only big castle, yeah, they would have in the city center. Well, actually, our city is really fooled with those. Oh, that is actually not a castle, it's a museum, a polytechnical museum. Actually, I've been to it like, when I was, I don't know, seven years old, I guess. Yeah, so I have no idea how this one looked like. But guys, that's just a museum. Oh, by the way, I do understand now where I am at. Yeah, because once again, I'm not a big visitor of the city center. So here is the main store for the children. It's like the six, seven floor building and it has a lot of shops for children. Children's World, yeah, children's shop. The name of it, детский магазин, центральный детский мир. It seems like all the streets are closed and you may see that there are a lot of people there walking, but it seems like the exit is permitted, but you cannot enter. So, man, I, I don't know where to go, I don't know where to go. Well, I can show you just a couple of, yeah, moments from this children's shop, why not? Oops. Some underground, a subway. Well, we are inside, well, inside, and this is how it looks. Quite great, especially when you're a child and you're visiting this for the first time. I like it's full of different shops. There are a lot of shops and this is just one part of the mall. Well, that looks interesting. That looks interesting. As far as I remember, there was an ability to go outside. I mean, take a look on the street, but maybe there. Let me take a look. Yeah, there is some specific place an observation deck and it's actually just one dollar and while I'm standing in the queue I can have the great smell of McDonald's here. I got the ticket, the price is 70 rubles. Now we have exchange rate like one USD for 73 to 75 rubles. So it's like one USD a bit less. And besides it seems like you're getting an access to some kind of childhood museum which is um, <coughs> Ah, okay. Seems to be just full of toys. You can see the, some Soviet looking toys, some dolls. Oh man. Not a big one, not a big one. I'm in the museum, but still interesting. 
because you just pay 70 rubles, which is one USD once again. And that is really not a big amount. I suppose that for some people who are big fans of those, that would indeed be a great deal. But we are here for the observation deck. Man, I already feel it. Come on. Yep, that's exactly what I came here. Oh, I, I never been here, guys. I never been here. I knew that this place exists, but I have never been here. Wow, it looks really amazing. It seems like, yeah, you should come here with the binoculars. There are some actually, but even without them, the view is so, I don't know what's the correct adjective, picturesque. And there is a Kremlin here as well. So we are not far from Kremlin. Once again, guys, if you would like to see the Moscow city center, you can just pay one USD and take a look at it from the central kids shop. I suppose that if you Google something like this, you would still find the correct place. The main thing, the main great thing about now, yes, is that we don't have a bad weather. So actually I was really lucky to be making this vlog today because it's sunny and yeah, so yeah, so once again, that building that we were passing one out of seven Stalin buildings. Yeah, here, here it is. Just one of those. But actually, there are seven of them, and you can see right behind the Kremlin. Yes, the Kremlin is there. And there is another building. I don't know which one that is ex exactly, like where south, north, etc. But still another one, and I suppose that. We should find some... Oh, something is happening there. Nah, nothing. That is what you get for one USD. But I suppose that, that is great. I suppose that is great. Even me, a Russian person, the person who lives in Moscow. Yes, I was born in Moscow. Even for me to see this now is really great. Is really great. And actually, I see some... It, Kind of military cars passing by right now and they stopped interesting there are those cars and i don't know why they stopped but it seems like the front car has some problems i see that the guy is like doing something under the hood under the hood but who knows <laughs> I hear the sound of them trying to start the engine working and it seems like the car is broke. Oh man. They had some kind of space. Yes, they could uh, pass their route without additional cars and they had their time. And it seems like due to the fact that the machines broke, now they cannot hold the regular traffic. Now they this column, yes, would be driving just alongside with the regular cars. So I managed to reach the very center, the Bolshoi Theater, a very famous sightseeing place in Russia, uh, in Moscow, and there is Kremlin. So guys, at this moment, I'm finishing the vlog for today. I do really hope that you enjoyed the video because I have no idea, I don't remember everything that I was filming now. But I do hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave, please leave more ideas or some specific places if you'd like to visit. I can go there first and show it to you. This time without subway, but just one hour before I started making videos for this clip, I was making a live stream from subway. Thank you very much everybody for coming. Thank you very much for staying. Hit the like button, subscribe to see more vlogs and reaction videos that I make as a Russian. It was Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia. See you next time. Bye.